And um, then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great, uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer, great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff, but there would be a stop to it and their things would start to, to, to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the Patriots coming out and voting, and then uh, and then and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy that. plan, a crash, yeah. worse than the uh, the uh, Great Depression. And the Lord warned me about this. It would be a great dark time, but I saw paddles coming upon America's soil like a shocking of the soil, and I saw Donald Trump praying in the office of the of the Oval Office, and he was weeping before the Lord with his hands on his head like this, but he was weeping. And there was ministers and people. I don't know if they are senators or, or Congress people or whatever. They I just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um, the White House. Uh, and sorry, the the uh, what is the White House? But it's the Oval Office, yeah. and they were interceding all inside there. And I could feel the presence of the Lord so strong on this. And then I could see that darkness that was the heaviness upon America with the with the um, the. Uh, the financial crisis of what I saw coming, it started to lift above the trees and I saw the blue and the, and the things coming back out and the green times and the good times coming back again. But the Lord said it would be forth a, a time of a season of um, a shaking and it would be a shaking to awaken. And, and in this, there a shaking friends, a shaking. I want you to think about that. So that is the guy who, that's this guy, everyone's a famous dude, right? Because he, he believed, he had these like visions of Donald Trump getting shot by the E and then bleeding. And everyone's like, whoa, you had some sort of vision, man. Now, you notice in there, he talked about an economic crisis. Now, friends, obviously, we know there's always an economic crisis. There's always one coming, right? But does what he's saying, does it line up? Yeah, it does. It's possible. Of course, everything's possible, but. The biggest indicator is the inverted yield curve. Now, this is the two-year, 10-year yield curve. When the U.S. Fed cuts rates, look at this. This was recession. This was tech bubble burst recession. This was GFC, big recession. This is zombie virus recession. Obviously, there's going to be a rate cut here, okay? But we don't know how big it's going to be. But I'm just telling you, every single time, they'll big. Now... They are expected to cut rates September. And from historical fact in the charts, every rate cut is bearish, every single one. The first rate cut's always bearish. Doesn't mean the second one's good. It just takes time. Now, if you want to know real numbers as well on top of that, when there's a rate cut, the average S&P 500 stock market drop is 27%. All right, 27%. Now, I'm going to show you now the chart, friends, 27%, what it means. 27% going down. Let's say they cut rates in September. Let's say the price is just whatever it is here. Okay, 27%, friends, brings it. Let's go where 27% is. Whoa, man, that's nuts. That goes all the way down here. That's the average drop. You know, it could go like that. Bang, bang, bang. But it doesn't mean that it drops in a straight line. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just, it means that it could roll over. Right over, it just does these lower highs. So it's like, oh, can't bounce, can't bounce, can't bounce, can't bounce, bang. All right, now I'm trying to see what's average 27%. Yeah, it's around there. Man, that's crazy. It's MP down to 4,000. Yeah, man, it does that. It does stuff like that. Like that zombie virus, that's these. Look at this one. This one's 20%. This one is, you know, 15%. But it's been a while, man. I mean, this is obviously, this is the abomin. This is the GFC, the, the killer. This is the 55% drop. Uh, everything else drops 60, 70, 80, 90%, just absolutely just mayhem. Okay, remember that's the index, friends, that's the index. So does that all line up? Yeah, it does possibly. What about crypto land? Well, it's the thing, man, it does it does line up, friends, because like if you're looking at if you're looking at crypto and the expectations, and we're like, man, we deserve to be two hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. We deserve it. But how would it line up, friends? How would it line up? Well, I can just I'm gonna show you. One possible scenario of the weekly chart here, all right, a weekly chart. So it is possible, right? We go up, 
This is Bitcoin. It goes up. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to mimic one for one the price action of the gold ETF. So the gold ETF went up 130% for gold price in four years. You know, crypto is literally every one year of crypto units, four years in the stock market, right? It's very interesting. I don't know why, but actually I kind of figured it out why. Um, we have, if you count up the number of trading days in a month, sessions in crypto, we have four times the stock market. They've got about 20 trading sessions. We've got about 80 to 90. So we do have about four times. Also, interestingly enough, if you do the correlation checks between the stock market and Bitcoin when they move, it's about four to one. So if the stock market's down 1%, Bitcoin goes down 4%. If the stock's down 5%, we're down 20. It's interesting, but that correlation has disconnected. But when they were moving in line, remember even Soy Bankman Fried, I remember he talked about this four to one correlation. That's just like everybody everybody knows that that's how the bots and all the algorithms trade it. Now, what I'm going to do, friends, is I'm going to mimic once again the gold ETF. So if we do from the Bitcoin ETF from here, if you do the 130% rally, you get around here, friends, about 110K. So fascinating. Imagine we did get to this 110K. We're above 100 right now. We're stuck, son of people. But then, do you want to know what gold did in 2008? Gold dropped with the GFC crash. Gold dropped because the stock market was dropping hard in 2008 GFC, the big collapse I just showed you. So what if Bitcoin has this like drop down back here to make this base? Everyone's like, oh, crap, bull market's over. But then by the end of the year, we get out of this scenario and then we actually do the blow off. Bang, bang, bang. Maybe that's possible, right? We hit this 240K mark. I wonder if we could do something like that. All right, so we go to 110K, but like, okay, look at this, friends. When I tell you, this, see this? Oh, wow, sweet, we go up. Yeah, just be careful, man, because if Bitcoin drops 35%, altcoins are down 60, 70%. So, yeah, man, look, it's possible. It's possible. By the end of this year, altcoins are up like 5x, and then they drop back down. Now they're only up 2x from here. See, they're still up. It's okay. We've made a higher floor. But that might be that economic thing he's talking about. It might be that, friends. It might be, see, Donald Trump gets in. See, this is where's Donald Trump getting. He wins the election here. And then here he goes, inauguration thing. I think it's like January 6th. Here we go. No, economic crisis because they're cutting rates. That might be it, friends. <clears throat> that might be it. Like, it could be. I don't know. Looking at this guy, profits, visions. Just be prepared for it. That's all I'm saying. You don't know, man. No one knows. I mean, like, you know, there's always this possibility too. Like, what if we've topped out right now and we do this? There's still that possibility. But just be open for these. And to let you know about some dates as well, the, uh, the old season waves, if you match up from the others index, Old season wave is meant to finish number one here and old season wave around number two here. You know, so the dates are around the mar as much. You never know, friends. Maybe maybe this happens and then this comes back down here and we get old season wave number three just for like, just because they, it wants to give us a nicer time because in 2021, we got freaking scammed hard. We all know we got scammed hard, okay? So that's what you know. That's what you... you we plan these scenarios out, friends. Once again, we don't. No one knows. Just guessing. But you just plan these out. You go, all right. If, by the way, we've been joking for a long time. If Donald Trump got in, there's going to be a planned recession. I swear. That's, that's, been, that's been like at the top of the list. Everyone said like, oh, yeah, if they get in, they're going to try. They're going to throw all the bad plan stuff just on him. But we'll see. Be funny. Funny, not really. Hopefully the price don't go down. So we're just going to navigate this. We take it day by day. You know, you already know I've prepared you. You don't do it. You're not taking it on any leverage. As soon as we start going up, you're not taking on any leverage. You're staying in spot, comfy in spot. We are going to make higher floors. Please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. Because, man, you take leverage at the wrong time, friends. Yeah, like if, if Bitcoin's going to drop 35%. And remember, that's still a high price, dude. That's Bitcoin at 110K. And, hey, you know, why, why can't I see these friends? Because I can see this happening because Bitcoin dropping down to here, all right, I can see two things happening, all right? I can see... People getting liquidated because they did two to one leverage, which is very low, and they still got liquidated because altcoins from that point, if Bitcoin's down 35%, altcoins are down 70%. Okay, 
again, right? That's another big, big whip. So if you're leveraged two to one, you got wiped. You lost all your money. You're forced out, number one. Number two, I can see this happening. Why? We go, see, this is go, we go above 100K. By the way, 100K is here. We go above it and then we come back down here and we're here. So I can see all the retailers and weak hands, soy boys, soy infused virgins, and everybody out there who drinks shrimp temperature water, hope you're not, I can definitely see them saying, oh, we rejected under 100K. Bitcoin, it, it can't be above 100K. It's done. We hit 100K. You've been waiting for it for 10 years. It's finally done. It's over now. It's over. But it won't be them saying it's over. It'll be them telling themselves that their balls have been snipped. They are now neutered. They don't have ovaries of steel. They are over. Okay. These these dates are obvious uh, to us if you're going to look at it in hindsight, friends. But as you're walking forward, you got no freaking idea. That's why, I mean, I have this monthly chart. I have this big window. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, hey, we got a big, this is the green, this is the red one. I want this one. This is the scam one. I don't know. Maybe it's something in between. We'll see. These dates are uh, particular and specific. This is one year after the Bitcoin halvening. This is also usually when it tops. So somewhere in this window, all right? We're still long. We're still strong. There are no new developing narratives or anything whatsoever. Keep an open slate. Just, you already know, man. You just don't do leverage, friends. Please don't do leverage. Like, anything can whip down. You know what I'm going to do, friends? I'm just, I'm going to bring up Pulse Chain chart. I'm just going to show you something that's possible when we're looking at something like, when we're looking at like this type of scenario. And you can do this for any coin, but just showing you what 70% looks like. Because 70% sounds like a big number. It really is. It's devastating in crypto. But, um, so this is Pulse, right? PLS. So, if we went up, let's say this thing actually started recovering up and it went up like, woohoo, but then like a pipe pops up, everyone thinks we're in the clear. What I'm going to now draw is like a 50% drop, okay? Imagine if Bitcoin drops 35%, okay, Bitcoin drops 35%, maybe we come back like all the way down here, 55%. You see that throughout this mess, like, like we come back down, bang, like that. That's possible, right? And then obviously it's going to be devastating. Comes back to two X day one sack. That's fifty five percent. And then it continues for the rest of the year. Maybe Ethereum goes up, hits the price, and this is like absolutely mayhem. Bang, 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 like that. Yeah, maybe something like that happens. But I'm just I drew this for you, so you just if this happens, man, stay double thumbs up. You know I'm gonna be here, but I can't control, man. I can't control what happens. You can't either. All you can do is limit your risk. You're already in. And we've seen it before, friends. All these planned things. Uh, the money printer ensures <laughs> that when the bad events happen, you're denominated in the US dollar, fiat, and they're printing it over time. And there's so much of a leakage of the slip of the currency around in the world. So your floor gets higher. It doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. You know how I know right now? Your portfolio is probably higher than the 2022 bear market low. But you don't feel good right now. A lot of people don't feel good right now because they're just seeing a lot of conflicting stuff. They're worried, is Ethereum going to do anything? Uh, can our bags please, please pump? Are we going to get this four-year cycle magic? We'll see. We'll see. But just know that that's exactly how it's played out in the past before, okay? And maybe, friends, maybe it's going to play out like that, the Mount Gox Ponzi cycle, which I'm just going to show you right now. It could play out like this. I have the whole thing actually right here. All right, I have the whole thing here just to show you. Uh, I mean, like, this is once again wild, friends, wild. Now, oh, man, this is just, we're not getting this. This is $800,000 Bitcoin. But just showing you where exactly where we are in time, you know, where we have this period here, where we eventually go up, we're starting to stall out. This is an acceleration of stuff here. Okay, so they're just magical numbers plotted together. Like and subscribe, friends. Make sure you don't do leverage at the top. That's most important. Don't be a paper hand. Just wait and see what plays out in that next phase.